Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be continuing to clean out this playroom before Christmas challenge. If you're new to my channel, hey, thanks so much for stopping by and checking me out. Yeah, I'm a hoarder and I show you my messes and I tell you my mental struggles. And we clean it out in small sections at a time so that I can keep my anxiety under control so I can make good decisions and let go of things. So, yep, we're going to be still digging in here. And I think for today's episode, it's going to be this right here. This stuff in front of this little kitchen. I had a sweet subscriber say maybe let go of the kitchen. I thought, well, you know what? I'll ask my youngest. This was my youngest. He loved this thing. So I'll ask him and see what he says. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So right off the bat, we just have a tub of Legos. And the thing is, oh, and some random stuff in here that the boys can kind of see what they want to let go of. But this is a tub of Legos. And this no longer, it, it, we outgrew it, okay? There is no more room in the tub of Legos. So I'm guessing for now, let me see, I might have to transfer it to a different bin. I still haven't totally decided how I'm going to organize this room. I've gotten a lot of awesome, awesome advice and I'm very appreciative of it. And I'm definitely gonna do what everyone says to keep doing the don't do the sentimental, you know, toys yet, but just continue to pull it out and put it like in the basement temporarily so that when I'm ready, I can go ahead and do it. And I'm like, that that is definitely what is best for me and my anxiety. But right now I'm thinking for all these Legos, at least they're all contained, they're all together. I just need a bigger container for it. So we'll do that. I guess for now it's gonna be put to the side and kind of like where the things are in limbo. Cause right here, here's the section where some things are kind of like in limbo until I figure out how to really organize it. Okay, so we can just put that for the side for now because right here, I really want to get in this tub. This bin right here, this is where I really want to empty out. So uh, this thing is cool. They do recently play with this. This actually, if you put it in the air, it shoots like fireworks and it's really cool. So that's a keeper. The piano, the piano is fun. And I think I read something about a music section and I thought that was such a cute idea. I just got to figure out <laughs> how I'm going to stand it but this this is a keeper because I even like playing with this thing okay here we go all kinds of things in here so now we can finally get to this play-doh drawer so we can go ahead and close that and then plushies okay um I guess I'll give this to my oldest and then this was his and see if he wants to keep it or not. Oh my God. Oh, darn it. We already did Operation Christmas Child. This would have been perfect to put in one of these bins, but for now, I guess I can just put it into um, toy sharing table that's coming up October 5th. Construction paper. Oh my gosh. Look at all this fun stuff. Oh, my oldest one. Oh my God, I don't know if I should re gift this. I don't even know if he realizes this This is in here. <laughs> he loves making little comics. All right guys, so sorry to cut out. It's just when I opened this up and showed you the pages, there was a page that he had filled out and it had his first and last name on it. And I just don't want his full name just out there yet. <laughs> so, so we have to give this to him. Like I said, I want to, I do want to make an art section. I did see a subscriber say something about the minimum mom. And I think in her video, she does something like four categories. Um, I don't know if I can get to four categories yet, <laughs> but that's definitely a goal. But at least I know arts and craft category is a huge one for us. So that's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, fun shine bear. Uh, this one's more of a sentimental as well because I loved when I was a little girl, like fun shine and like, you know, my little ponies. So that's more of a sentimental thing of like, Something that I loved and now my boys used to love. Ay, ay, ay. 
a bet. Okay, this, oh, this bet has seen better days, but instead of it, it doesn't belong in here, it goes in the outside toys, so I can take that out there. <laughs> Zuzu pet, oh my gosh. I'll have to ask them if they wanna keep the Zuzu or not. Oh my gosh, look at these huge coloring books. Oh my goodness, let me guess. Never used, right? <gasps> right! Oh my gosh, okay. They, they're getting re-gifted. <laughs> they're brand new. All right, so let's really, oh, I wanna hide this because, oh, I don't know if you can see my address. Some more random bunchums, but you know what? This was bought off a of wish before Santa brought the big bunchums. So I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and I'm taking them to toy sharing. They're, they're out of here. We have enough bunchums, my goodness. This was from Making Slime. So again, this would have to go in an arts and crafts kind of section. Here we go. Oh, puppy. Um, Brand, my, uh, my oldest son, Brandon, he does love pugs. So I'll give that to him to see what he wants to do. So we're getting down into some Nerf guns, I see, because here's here's the Nerf pellets, you know? So Lord knows over here, let's get all the pellets back in the bag. And look, see, look, that's another section. It's gonna be another category, the Nerf guns. They love the Nerf guns. So I kind of have to figure out how am I gonna do this? Oh my God, there's so many Nerf guns all over. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is brand new. They never even played with this. Guess what? It's getting re-gifted because I know one of my best friend's little boys wants a Nerf gun. We have a ton of them. This was, oh, look, this looks like Christmas wrapping paper. So it's been sitting since Christmas. So that's totally a re-gifter. Check off that list. Um, okay, my youngest did recently, this earlier this year, play with this. He likes this ice cream thing. We're almost at the bottom of this bin. This is awesome. Oh my God, annoying fish, but they love annoying fish. <laughs> okay, this is the trash can to the trashies. That's an older toy. Again, I will ask them what they want to do with it. And then we got, oh my gosh. So I got rid of this in the first round of the, uh, what you call it, <laughs> cleaning out the playroom. And then of course my oldest saw it and he was like, why are you throwing that away? I colored that when I was little. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so he rescued Bunny, but Bunny ended up back at the bottom of a bin. They're like, oh no. <laughs> Tossy Tossy, that's easy. Random reindeer, uh, okay. Uh, here we go, Nerf gun that, again, we have to figure out where we're gonna put all these Nerf guns at. And a Nerf gun, another one, some more bullets. Ay, 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 okay, let's put all this stuff together now. All right, so I did ask my youngest if he wanted to keep the kitchen and he said yes. Uh, he always loved playing with kitchens since he was like two he always went for the kitchen so i was like okay we can keep it for now you know he's still only seven so that's a good thing plus he loves cooking with me too so i need to make sure that he's cooking with me more often <laughs> and this right here this is behind that tub that's a tossy tossy we don't need that we'll recycle it and i looked over here at this box and yeah, I thought so, because this is already out. This is probably empty. That's a tossy tossy. We don't need to keep that box. And as I'm looking at this, I feel like after we got rid of that tub, we really did clear out a nice little space. So I think I'm going to start organizing the categories and then showing you them. Okay guys, so here are the categories that we have going on today. Bunshine Bear, oh, she's gonna go to the sentimental bin. <laughs> These items right here, they're going to toy sharing table. That's December 5th. This right here is the Tossy Tossy Pile. I'm gonna recycle it as best as I can. The bat doesn't belong in there. It belongs with the outdoor toys. And these things right here, they're getting re-gifted for this Christmas to help save me some money. <laughs> so overall, especially where I still kind of stand emotionally, I feel really good about mostly letting go of like this stuff over here. 
and re-gifting that. And that's what helps me heal in my hoarding is letting go of small things at a time because it keeps my anxiety calm so that I can keep going and form these good decluttering habits. All right, guys, we cleared out that space fairly quickly. Just getting the tub and the contents of the tub really did open up that space so that we can continue to dig in, clear a lot of this out, and then figure out how we're going to try and organize it with the pieces that we did keep. So I feel good. We let go of some things. Um, I'm strong because I'm going through some emotional hard times right now and I still mustered up the strength inside of me that I didn't want to go backwards in my hoarding and I continued on in one of the most emotional <laughs> departments because I really want this done for Christmas so I'm feeling good about myself. I can do this. Anyone who struggles with hoarding, we can do this. Just do little bits at a time. It really does make a difference. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I just want to say, man, Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.